Yep, ladies and gentlemen, this time it is from south east to west, northwest. And once again, all of these teams, they will be spread across the map, trying to get the best position, trying to get the best weaponry before ending up and going for positions and kills. Nuclear, black market, downtown, all high tier loot zones. It looks like Team MYT wants to go into nuclear plant, but look at that! Squad number five and squad number eight heading straight in for the sky platform. We own all, just don't wanna let it go. This is definitely personal between both of these teams going at each other from the beginning all to the end. Well, Bo Angle in here, Gojin gets taken down. It is Yabai on Neil and that striker action. Yabai finds it a little too difficult to face off against. Oh, TG Wang right now coming in to back up Neil, but Neil doesn't need any backup. Up. That striker is spicy enough. King Whisper going in for Kuntum. It is the Vikings against Team R7. It is Team No SK. Sorry, Enemy Team uh, NO from Malaysia now. going up against the Vikings in the R7 as well. Neil taking down Wang finally. Beautifully played in by him. But look at that. Team Triple V Fuego is in here for some action as well. This is practice range and this is a high tier loot zone as well. Yes, man. Triple V Fuego and Tyrant Gaming Extreme going head to head in this practice range. We'll see who come up on top as Triple V they are looking the battle of both of these teams. Well, 20 teams came in here, but only 76 players made it through. I wonder which are those teams that ended up with just three members. Neil going in for seriously. Oh, not able to get much of a damage in there. Lung was taking down Roca right now. Let's step up the pace of this match, shall we, Trevor? It is the final one for the day. Yes, indeed, the final game of the day. And we're already down to 18 teams. Two teams has already been eliminated in the opening three minutes itself. Well, it is Neil right now with the striker as he pushes through. Practice range belonging to them. Triple V Fuego came in to say hello and immediately jets out of there. They might have taken a chopper to get out because that's exactly what you will do when you see another team already dominating a high tier loot zone, right? Because when you drop in there, you never know what sort of guns they have already picked up. There you go. Tyrant Gaming in here. Three players. Dale looks like he has disconnected. Connected. Hopefully, he'll be able to jump back into the game. Suggs and Neil right now. Tyrant Gaming don't look like they're doing that well. Butcher gets taken down. It is the Echo gameplay by Nash. Trogel Swat want to get those early, early kills. Neil is pissed off. He goes in shooting walls because his team member, one, gets disconnected. Another one never entered the match. <laughs> yes, and he started off this game so well, getting up three kills, but they're just down to two members. And they need to fight off six deep. 60 other players in this server if they want to be victorious in this game. So we jump on board. We're the side of Angry Troker Squad. One of the teams that's actually in the running for this whole championship. If they can over get more points than the, the squad of NRX 420 and they need to do it by 20 points. Well, so early in the game, they go in to upgrade their chip terminal and they do it well. And right after, they hop into the air with the airborne. Gonna move into the safe zone early Then they want to secure their position. They don't really need a lot of kills if they want that second position. But you know that's not what they want. They yep. want to aim for the top dogs. They want that first position because a lot of CP is on the line and those fly, fly, fly bomber jackets. Yep, so they really need to go in aggressive for the kills. They need to get at least 10 to 15 kills to their name plus the victory to give themselves a chance. So we'll see. It is still early days. There's still about 61 players left spread across 18 teams as we are just now. five minutes across this final game. The Vikings going in back and this is classic Viking action. They love the docks. This is the place where they always love to land in. 420 right there in front of them. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, don't forget if you are here for the first time, you hit that follow. Make sure you follow the page so you get all of the updates instantaneously 
if you haven't dropped that like, do go ahead and do so and check out Cow as we need more players in here. We need more viewers in here watching this crazy action as Team No Escape tries to avoid Team We Own All, who is on the way. Are they going to go Ubo, 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 or are they going to get kicked out of the match? Yes, Team No Escape and We Own All, they are so close to each other, but they're getting on the copter and they are getting the hell out of there. Well, Kiyoyama right now with the katana in hand, they try to fly away. Sky platform right above. Are they going to go in for the scraps of WOA as to what they have left in there? Because you never know, you might just find a war machine. Looks like they just might. They back in there and they want the scraps. Team WOA just laughing because they might already have those war machines in hand. Kiyoyama right now, Pulsar jumps off that chop Yoyama still hanging on, waiting for Dench to join him as well. There you go, scanning through. They want, they want those guns. Oh, level 3 West he has found in there. Goes in, is that an adrenaline? He picks up an adrenaline from the machine. Not exactly what he wanted, but in a game as high-paced as this, so dangerous, the adrenaline is definitely going to help you. Let's see, does he get a war machine? No, he doesn't. Unfortunately, he wants it. He goes and he still chooses to hang on to his Echo. Pegopa holding on to Docs right now. The Immortals Legends holding in Docs as well. Kimi Mix, Katsi flying down. Goals, there are lots coming in. Are we going to see Goals that are going down? Oh, oh my no! The backstab! Big Opa Colzera takes out Katsi. What a play. Oh, BK fighting back. Fighter taking down Colzera. Oblivion goes down to Whisper. It is now a three on two situation. What a flash in there. Now we're going to see a Viking go down. King Whisper running around. Beautifully done. The Immortals legend not able to touch the Vikings in there. They want to prove that they are the best in Malaysia. But the Vikings say hell to the no, no, no. You think we are here to pluck flowers? We are here to fight. Mayron flying through. It is CRI trying to go in with the FAJ-18 whilst being on a chopper. Pulsa gets taken down by Marias. Beautiful play in there by the Arctic 50 right now. NRX 420 on that chopper at the edge of the safe zone. Yes, I mean, just gliding through the circus thing, heading towards Pipeline, if they were to see if they can scout out any of the members as they time around, we are with, we own all. We are on board with Marias. He is going close. And he has team number eight, which is team no escape, right under him. Come on, WOA. The top 10 is not the spot for you. But the least that you can do is just show us some great action right now. Marias, Bow Angle, has Akula in here. Now they're going to go in for no escape. If you take down no escape, it is good as well. We have got Ask in here with the striker action right now. Marias, Palsa is definitely down. Ask with the striker. It lays Akula. Akula. Are moving in and Akula with a takedown on Kyoyama. That's right now. That's really low. That gets taken down by us. What a play by WOA. It is we own all. We own all owning the boys from team. No escape. But one player manages to escape. Holy crap. Yes, indeed. Keeping just one member alive. Team, we own it all. They come on top of that engagement. They were so close to taking out a full squad, but that one player just getting away in the nick of time. It is rolled right now with the Echo gameplay. This is Team Drogal Swat. They want the first position and they can have it if they want it. 56 players left in here. 20 have been taken down, but only three squads are out of it. The rest of them still fighting in here for the top position. AK-47 in hand together with the Echo rolled right now. Moving in with Drogal Swat. Akula moving in together with Team WOA. The Airborne is right in there for them to use. It is the safe zone that is not on their side. They need to move and they need to move now. It is seven kills so far for Team WOA. And they seem to be shining as bright as the stars. Yes, I mean, they're doing a fantastic job at this game number six. And they want to finish this game off well itself. So we are on board with Bow Angle and he is just gonna get a position to 
towards the bottom of the hill. Well, well, the player that got away from them. Oh, Kinjas right now with that chopper. Bo Angle tries to go in. Kinjas not getting taken down. Possibly abandons his chopper as well. Bo Angle in the area. Are we going to be able to see WOA just go batshit crazy in this match? Because they look like they want to MYT. We need to see Malati perform slightly better. Somnus in here. Your usual solo versus squad player. Thora 2.0. The only one who has been consistent with those kills. K and 44 in hand. What can he do? Oh, they are the ones who get to see the player from Team No Escape that has escaped into their arms. Pulsar, it is. Put in right now. Put in would have seen those footsteps. Somnus does not see him. Tora might want to go downstairs. Tora right now getting into the basement. If they push in from both ends, Pulsar will be able to get taken out of the game. And it is one team less for them to worry about. How are we going to see Team MYT do it at the moment? All we see is this butt on the screen, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, as Putin goes on to her prone. It is Pulsar trying to crawl away from the situation. The OBs are just enjoying this view right now. Pulsar, is he going to make his way out? Nope, he moves in towards Malati. Malati right now is still going to be holding on to that hill. We jump over to Triple V Eros Polly. Yes, Polly with the chopper trying to get a good position. They are moving in towards that diner position. Little do they know they have team number four, Tyrant Gaming Extreme, also close above them. I mean, this could get very interesting as the chopper who could get on fire. Well, Tyrant Gaming Extreme destroying a round with Triple V Eros right in there. Oh, Putin gets splashed in the face. I wonder who did that. It could be. It could be the player that we were waiting for them to take down from earlier. It is the player from No Escape. Pulsar. Pulsar so low in there. Trying to get away. But the safe zone right now dropping in as well. Pulsar needs to get away as soon as possible. But you have got Team MYT guarding both of those exits. How is he going to survive this? I don't really think he has any option to get out of there unless he can fight his way out. Anyway, we will see later on as we are on with Triple V Eros on board with Pauly. And they are just scouting towards the edge of Diner and seeing whether the circle comes in, whether we they will have any teams coming from the back. Well, let's see as we see Somnus. Somnus goes in for the kill finally. It looks like no escape. Oh, wait. No Escape has not been eliminated, but who did Somnus eliminate from the game then? Well, we will check out in a bit. Thora 2.0 gets taken down by the safe zone. A little too greedy there, waiting to take down that player from Team No Escape. And he sacrifices himself to the safe zone. The Immortals right now, all the way up to the top. The Immortals rampage to be specific. One squad right there behind them. It is Team We Own All with two players. And the squad right there in front of them. It is Trogal Swan. How we gonna see the Immortals go in? for this fight at launch base. Yes, the Immortal Rampage going in as we test time we jump on to Sigrasius on board with Marin as he is gonna uh -oh. go up the hill but Triple V they are above the hill. Wow, well played by Marin. Spots the situation, immediately drops down that little fly flying fox line, I zip line, it's zip line. They call it the zip line, AJ. Get your vocabulary together. Marin right now still moving through outside of the safe zone, probably going to go for a very, very long uh, backstab. He plans it, but is he going to be able to pull it off? He seems like he has it. Ask gets taken down by Aral right now. It is W O. A who tries to go in for Trogal Swat, but Trogal Swat a little just bit too OP for them. It is us who goes down. I think they are left with two more players in there unless they've brought in a few more. There you go. Bo Angle, Marias in there. It's a full squad for WOA. Can they take down the two second seed? Yes, Trogal Swat. I think that's high run and run. They could have started their falling. Falling going in as and. C will take down Reflisia and Pauli and Chiron, they come up on top of this engagement with the nade taking down Pauli. What a double nade there. And Pauli gets out of the game. Triple V, Coco goes down to that war machine as well. You've got HZ up there in the air. Triple V with the final hope right now. No way whatsoever to pick up those dog tags. HZ just needs to hope that he can survive long enough until the team runs away, leaving him that position to pick up those dog tags. 20 seconds to go. Can he actually go in for the rescue? 
nope, Squad 13 is gonna be holding on to those tags like some feral dogs. It is Tyrant gaining intensity. You are not gonna get any mercy from them. Squad 3 moving in, no Reloading. mercy alpha. Speaking of mercy, here's another team. They say no mercy, but they have been showing mercy to all of the teams that they have been coming up against. But will they do the same for the Immortals Malaysia Rampage, who is in the vicinity right now? Yes, indeed, we'll see whether they can come up comfortable as this giant we with new Mercy Alpha Raw and Lankwas. They are just counting towards the top of the hills, but unfortunately, they will not spot anyone below them at the moment. Well, it is Team No Mercy still waiting in either they attack or they get attacked. But here comes NRX420. Oh, No Mercy needs to get out of the area oh. quick before Team NRX jumps up and takes them down. Because they will be just easy, easy kill points. No disrespect, but it's NRX420, baby. Uh, Raw taking it up into the air. Just standing in there as a guardian for that airborne just before they shoot off. It is the Immortals Rampage below them. Team No, No Mercy. It looks like they're not going to have any ways of escape. Look at the number of teams that are just around them. Squad 5 moving in as well. It is none other than Team We Own All. Squad 10 in there. Team MYT. Rebels. Ah, it's going to it's gonna be super spicy. It's going to be super spicy if they come across even one of them because when the other teams hear those gunshots, they will want to get involved. Yes, indeed. Circle will be closing in shortly, so they really need to move in. And all of these teams, they will have to go through an engagement, whether they like it or not. We are on board with Viking teams over now, and we they will run into the Immortal Savage if they would just go forward. Well, Lost right now pushing through. It is squad 16 right there in front of them. The Immortal Savage in front of the Vikings. The Vikings He's when they move through, now. are they going to get a caught oh, in Malati an dies in the zone. Malati! It is Akula right now getting taken down by Dingos' AK-47. Here comes the airborne four team Vikings as they shoot it up into the air. Squad 16, the Immortal Savage in front of them. They might just skip over them because on beside them, it is also squad 18. The glow Glorious Mavens attack with Luffy, Uso, as well as Zoro in there. Sanji might be able to work well if he stops fighting with Zoro. Sucks takes down Nash. It is a beautiful takedown with that BY15 action. With the takedown first and that full on wipe. Triple B Eros right there above them. It is your NDK and TK. Drogal Swat right now. KKPG. KKPG goes in for TX. Sucks and Sucks goes down. What a takedown. Sucks with a beautiful take down with that uh, shotgun but it is Trokel Swat that shows him how to use one. Big Opa goes in with a striker of his own. It is shotgun galore all over the map ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. And Lunkwas goes in for Banana. Lunkwas getting taken down by Dingoes. Big Opa goes down to Luffy. Ah, oh, this is back to back action. Sanji finally. It is the Vikings going up against the glorious Mavens. Close Zera goes down to Usopp. Dingoes takes down Nobi. Ladies and gentlemen boys and girls. Kill after kill after kill. Dingoes on Zoro and as well. Are we going to see Flash go in? No, Flash goes down. It is three players, two different squads, all crawling in unison beside each other. Hey, can you pick me up? No, we are from a different team. We cannot do so. But we can shoot the crap out of you and loot your box at the end of the day. Dingoes on Zoro right now. Lunkwas goes down for sure. It is going to be Dingoes that goes down to Raw right now. It is NRX 420 Kree up there in the air. Are we going to see more action as the safe zone continues to drop? Yes, the safe zone is shrinking and look at the teams. None of them are having a comfortable position. Everyone needs to move in and once the shots get fired, it will be back and forth, back and forth. The kills will be go back and forth. We are still down with 34 players spread across 14 teams. This will be a final blockbuster between all of these teams. I can say this is the fastest match we have had in the day. Look at that clock right now, Pokia, Pokia right above. It is Rokul Swat who tries to go in for those shots, trying to weaken him in the air itself. Hukia goes down to Tyrant Abyss right now. Juice takes down Muska. Muska is down. What are they going to do with their top fragger going, getting knocked down like that? Sanji goes in after him. Dora 2.0. The one for MYT gets taken down as well. Sanji goes in for him. It is a battle between Sigra 
as well as the glorious mavens bow angle arts getting taken down somnus goes down to the safe zone the glorious mavens still standing strong sigra right there in front of them 28 more players 12 different squads this is the second last safe zone nobody steps into the final safe zone just yet too many teams in here somnus getting taken down by the safe zone king whisper goes down to nas oh goodness me juicy juicy action as we see juice on the screen Bobby taking down haze as well it is king whisper that goes down to nas oh second player for the vikings oh abyss war machine action beautifully done oh another takedown in there team tyrant going up against team 420 Bobby, can he hold it in for his team they are so close to this tyrant tyrant all losing their players Bobby in there z right now going in is Bobby going to be able to survive Bobby shoots out of the area but flies outside of the safe zone in the nick of time to save himself but is the safe zone gonna be the one to take him down oh Bobby better be careful topping up his health 150 hp in there oh you better watch out for shooting me in the back says Bobby Tyrant Z trying to run out of the area right now Neil goes down to Bobby AK-47 action Z still has no gas in hand it is Luffy right there in front of Bobby Bobby is stuck between a very very hard place and the very very strong safe zone finds a way out eventually Zoro in front of him is he gonna go in for the takedown Glorious Game is doing really really well so far Sanji comes in to take a peek Bobby Bobby, Bobby is taken down. down what a play by Sanji the glorious mavens are they gonna be able to do this Cree up there in the air it is nrx 420 with the final hope with Cree. they are not gonna go in Papi probably not gonna get picked up this is the last save zone it's a little too risky abyss right now moving in echo gameplay lansoy moves in Bo yeah Bo yeah gets taken down the immortals rampage is out probably oh so many players so small space are we gonna see lansoy move in with Zigra zeus right now yes and with just eight teams remaining with 14 players this is anybody's game Marin and Lanza are still carrying the flag of Zegra meanwhile on the side of NRX 14 teams only Ikri can they get into a position that can secure them the victory or will the angry dropper squad well, we'll Zoro, Zoro right now getting taken down. Sandy goes down to the safe zone. Luffy as well as Usopp in here. The glorious Bring Mavens on, still me. standing in here. Luffy takes down the piss. Are they going to be able to hold on? Luffy, safe zone. Come on, Luffy. Beautifully done. Tops up his health. Tries to stay in here. 100 HP. Pulls out his medikit as well. Usopp goes down. Luffy. Glorious Mavens get their asses kicked out of there. It is the last player in there. Ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls, it is none other than Sigra Zeus who acted.